Are you ready for the 5G future? If you're still baffled by 5G, you're not alone. The newest generation wireless standard has just started to hit the market. Gardner Research says $4.2 billion is being spent on 5G wireless network infrastructure across the world. And this morning, our consumer expert Amy Davis answers the question, what is 5G? Stop 5G! Stop 5G! Whether you want it or not, 5G is here. So what is it? 5G is what comes after 4G and before 6G. The cell signal? 5G stands for the fifth generation of cellular networks. The major difference? Speed. Recent speed tests put 5G ultra-wideband downloads at 988 megabits per second. That is an 820% increase over LTE. This means faster download speeds for videos and streaming, 50 times lower latency, and way less buffering. So what does 5G mean for you? Right now, not that much. 5G is limited to areas with 5G towers and to devices that are capable of interpreting the signal. To use 5G, you need a 5G-capable phone. Top players in the 5G game are Apple, Samsung, Google, T-Mobile, and Verizon. All phones and cell towers emit electromagnetic energy, but the FDA has limits in place for 5G radiation. The FCC reports there is no evidence of harm. While the switch to 5G isn't a pressing task for everybody, getting a 5G-capable phone now to prepare for the future is what tech experts call future-proofing, or ensuring your phone survives the worldwide Internet upgrade, at least until 6G comes around. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC 2 News. Of course.